This build was recommended to me, and it's quite an interesting build. Neural Lasso and Hyper Propellant. What Neural Lasso does is give the Lock 1 the ability to slow down enemies' movement for every lock-on put onto a bug, at the cost of a longer lock-on time, and lock-ons will only stay for around 5 seconds. And Hyper Propellant turns your grenade launcher into a railgun, giving you massive direct damage and projectile velocity at the cost of ammo and explosion radius. Now, both overclocks give your guns amazing traits that allow you to bully a lot of the bugs roaming the caves. But what if you took them with some of the wrong gear mods? Well, you'll see. Also, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Okay, ooh, spawned right in front of a Huli Hoarder. Oh, stay right there. Stay right there. Stay right there. Stay right there. <laughs> Come on. Stay right there and take all this damage. No. No. He's gonna get away. That is... Ah, uh, it's so bullshit. That's so infuriating. Oh my god. I really wish that Huli Hoarders would dig away somewhere else in the cave and you had to find them again. That just wasted three of my shots. <laughs> my precious shots out of my railgun. So this build is gonna be an interesting one because, oh boy. <laughs> the guy also recommended me to change my sentries and I said, <laughs> you're not taking away my sentry. Oh God. Yeah, this build sucks. <laughs> okay, I understand. I understand that one other engineer build wasn't the best. Steve, give me. Get him, Steve. Yeah, good boy. God, this <laughs> this build does just really suck already, huh? I have played with hyper propellant, like full AOE before. Back when I very first started doing DRG videos, I was doing like unstable built wrong, where you would just take the unstable overclocks and you would just build them in like the worst way possible. So this is kind of like an homage to those videos that I used to do. I've never used smart targeting before, so what I'm assuming is is that. It'll stop putting lock-ons to the enemy when it knows it'll kill it, which that's kind of an interesting concept. Oh, well. Almost got him. Oh, thank God I got a, I got a resupply. Good. No. <laughs> Damn it. I don't suppose hyper propellant is gonna be too. Okay, okay, I get it, I get it. I gotta go. I gotta go. I gotta get out of this tight corridor. Or is this the the end of the? Okay, well, good enough. That's actually really nice that it stops the the lock-ons from happening when it knows it's gonna kill an enemy. It's nice, but I don't know how. Uh, well, I guess it's kind of useful. Uh, lure grenade. Go 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 go. No 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 no. This is where that full auto mode would come in handy. Go towards the lure. <laughs> That stupid guard really just tried to bite air. Uh oh. Oh no. Stop trying to grab Steve. Steve is non grabbable. I think we're safe now. For now, at least. Oh my god. I'm already running through all my ammo. Okay, so it's four shots to kill Bogue. I might actually want to start using smart targeting more on other builds. Maybe like Executioner would be good with it. I could see it. Executioner being good with it. Well, that's doing jackal. Ah, you gotta be kidding me. Just keep, just keep, just keep throwing a tantrum, okay? Oh, there's a meteor. Nice. Oh, well. I don't even know what those are. Oh. Oh, it got hit by the meteor. <laughs> ah, damn. We were just one room away from being in a big cave. Oh. Where? Where are you? It's like a jump scare just waiting to happen. I hear him, but I don't see him. Where did he go? He just stopped. He was screaming as he was brutally murdered. So I saw the update for November being that it'll add in like a really cool weapon progression system 
where if you play with the, a weapon enough times, it'll level up and you get a cool skin for it. Which, in all honesty, that is actually really cool. That's something that was in Call of Duty, where you play with like a weapon for a long enough time, and eventually you just get, you get special perks for the weapon, but you also get cool skins for the weapon too. And I think that is a really nice way to make players play with weapons, you know, that like they normally don't play with. So it'll encourage players to play with like, let's say, I don't know, some people don't like playing with like the Sabata or the Cryo Cannon. So then this will encourage those players to go on there and, you know, it'll grant them rewards for playing with a weapon that they actually don't know how to play with. But also they'll learn how to use it. Or I don't know, people won't learn how to use it and they just want to do it for the skins. I'm also really excited for the nerf to the Stingtails. Because, good lord, those are really annoying. I'm so sorry for my first season 4 video that I did where I said, Oh, the, the steam tail isn't that bad. It actually adds in a nice mechanic where you can't stand still all the time. Yeah, no, I was wrong. Uh, <laughs> I will fully admit that. I am. I was definitely wrong about that. The steam tail is just OP. I'm also glad that they are at least adding some updates as well to the game. And we're not just being left in the dark while they're making Rogue Core. I'm excited for Rogue Core, but I'm also like, man, I wish they would have at least done a new season before. But oh well, good things come to those who wait. And that's a Stingtail. There's two. No, now I wish I had my bubble of denial. Now I kind of do wish that we could tame the Stingtails. That's a Cave Leech. Yep, there it is. I was like, that's a cave leech if I've ever heard one before. It would be interesting if we could tame the Stingtails, because Stingtails are Glyphids. So, I mean, hey, it's another new one to tame. Flea. Is that a flea? What is that? Oh, it's the skull. Oh, my lord. He's like, hey! Get out of here, skull. Oh, there you go. See, I thought it was a Fester Flea for a second. I was like, hmm, why is, uh, why is the... The festerfully glowing, like, greed mist. It's the skull. What do you have to do? I'm a cobra. <laughs> this build ain't too bad so far. I think the main thing that's helping me out is just my turrets. <laughs> but it's not too bad so far. I, don't know, I wanna know where this breeder is at. He's probably in the next cave. You nerds, like, go away, please. Yee. Jack-o'-lanterns. <laughs> oh, speaking of jack-o'-lanterns, me and my girlfriend carved pumpkins uh, last off days we had together. That was really fun. That was actually my first time I've carved a pumpkin. I've always had my dad carve me the pumpkin design, but then um, after a certain time, we just kind of stopped doing pumpkin carvings. And so I never got the chance to carve one myself on our last off day. I told her like, oh, I've actually never carved a pumpkin before. And she's like, oh my God, we have to carve pumpkins now. And I was just like, all right. So we got like these, we, we made these like really cool designs. She did just the, the standard like smiling pumpkin with eyes, triangle eyes, which that was really cute. But then I was like, hmm, what should I do for my design? Hmm, let's just do fangs. <laughs> so I looked up a design for like teeth and I'm trying to spread around the, the lock-ons, but it's not working. There's so many. Why? Why are there so many of you? There you go. That breeder should be dead. At least I'm hoping. Ooh! Lure grenades. Just lure grenades. Go. Pay attention to them. <laughs> Pay attention to the funny dancing men. Anyways, so yeah, no. So my design was like these... This like teeth uh, carvings that I did. I didn't give it any eyes, but yeah, that's what I did. And ye, they turned out really good. I'm really happy with our designs that we did. Well, we kind of did it in like a weird way that I've never like done before with my dad. We flipped the pumpkins upside down and we carved them out from the bottom instead of from the top, which actually helps the pumpkins stay out longer and it keeps them stable too. So that way they're not rotting out from the top and like caving in on themselves. I also, we, we couldn't find any candles, so we had to put electric candles in them. But they still turned out really good. 
Uh oh. Ow! Owie, owie, owie. <laughs> owie. I expected that. It's bad I have no AoE. Wait a minute. Oh, shit. Uh. Oh, thank you, oppressor. Give me back to my turrets. Usually I'm supposed to be bullying them. Turns out they're bullying me, and I'm out of... Yeah. Well, this is probably what I expected more out of this build was dying. Well, it's time to run. Now! Help, Bosco, help. Yes, oppressor, kill the bugs. No, try, dog, don't go that way. Run! I miss. <laughs> oh my god, we're rich! Where's that resupply? I need lure grenades. This. Look at the funny dancing man. Anyways. Nope. Nope. My Steve is still alive, surprisingly! Funny dancing man. Funny dancing man, save me. Stay away from me. Stay away from me. Okay, cool. Wonder what Steve's doing. Steve's just vibing out. Heels. Alrighty. <laughs> okay, time to run back and get the rest of the Morkite. I'm assuming... Will this bounce around? Oh, it does. That was fast. Oh my... That took forever to explode. I even saw the red trail of it go down there. Oh. I hear the oppressor beating up my Steve now. Ah oh, no, Steve's gonna die. You. Sit, sit, sit. Oh, well, I can't deposit these now, so I, I just, I just gotta run. And I only have two shots of my railgun left. Ah, shit. Wait, how did Molly get, what? Molly, how did you get ahead of me? Don't go, oh. Where are you going? You. Well, Molly isn't helpful in this situation because a meteor hole just sent her back. What? Where? I'm so blind. I'm about to literally just dig up to this cave. I'm just stupid. What killed me? Riddle me this. What killed me? But riddle me this, Batman. What killed me in this hole? Gosh. Stop with the acid spitters. Look at this. Mm, get me out. God. Uh, I'm losing all my revives. Why did Molly have to crawl up that stupid meteor hole? Here's the hole that she climbed out of. Note to self. Note to future self. There's an oppressor. <laughs> Note to future self. Clog up meteor holes. Hell yeah. <laughs> oh, despite... Whatever the hell that was that happened. <laughs> we still made it out alive. My guess is, is that the Stingtail silent grabbed me. And so it pulled me. And since it kept my velocity when it pulled me, it just, it just counted it as, oh, I'm falling into this wall. And I died immediately. I, I don't know how else to explain that, but <laughs> whatever though.